Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. We just got back from a week in the Bahamas and so we hadn't had much time to do any boat work, but we did get to go sailing and it was wonderful. We are finishing up our Snark Sunflower. We are going to do some detail work today. Going to get the boards on the transom, figure out how to attach the rudder, work on getting our floor secured, and uh, make her look pretty. So we're glad you're here. Um, let's jump in and get this dude ready to go. How hard could it be to find four and a half inch bolts? I had to get metric. That's okay though. Hopefully these will fit. Okay. So I got 110 millimeters and 120. So I guess we'll see which ones work. Or so good. Oh, that looks good. That looks great. How about that? So there's, there's my eye bolt for the transom. Let's go get the rudder and see how that fits on there. Now we still got to get our last coat of varnish on here, but it's sanded down really good. Do I look like I need that much help? Huh? What are you doing? Good ball. All right, so our thwart fits in here really well. And um, I had some question about what to do with these holes because when I got in here, they were, they were void. There was nothing in there. So I made some thickened epoxy and I, I filled those up. So we've got now something that we can drill into uh, to, to attach this down. And as you may remember, we made this a little bit wider than, than this other original one so that it, uh, it fits in here better. But before I, before I fasten it in, um, I'm gonna drill a hole in here. This old one had a cleat that was here for the main halyard, and it was just your standard kind of cleat. I never liked it because when you pull the halyard down, you gotta grab onto that little 
part of the cleat and there's, it doesn't give you much leverage. There's a hard, it's not easy to pull and tighten that halyard. So um, I decided that what I wanted to do was I thought about putting a, a cleat on the side and then I thought, well, I've got, I've got my belaying pin. Um, I had an extra one from when I made the, the Haven. And uh, so uh, the next thing was, I couldn't remember exactly, I think it's a half inch. So I got this handy dandy little tool here used for seeing how big your, your bolts and what have you are. And uh, if it is a half inch, well, how about that? It is, it's a half inch. So I need to drill a half inch hole down in here for this belaying pin to sit in here. And then that'll allow me to uh, raise the sail, tighten the halyard by bringing it down below it. I can tighten it up pretty good and then tie it off. This is real old school, but I think it'll look kind of cool and it won't be in the way. So that'll be our next thing is drill this hole. So I want this belaying pin to go in right about here. And I'm gonna tape this off because I've already got a pretty good, nice bit of varnish on here. And I certainly don't want to tear out this wood. So we're gonna try to protect this a little bit. And as I'm prone to do, I'm gonna start with a smaller, smaller bit and then we'll work our way up to that half inch. Okay, so far so good. We'll get a little bit bigger bit. Okay. Let's see if it fits. That's perfect. Looks good. That's not too tight, but tight enough. It's always a little bit scary when you're making a new hole and you've already got your already got your finish on, but uh, we did well. We really uh, pretty pretty smooth. So uh, happy with that. Kind of rough on the bottom. Sand that off real quick. Roll this sandpaper up real tight. I should be able to kind of get in there and just make sure it's pretty clean. Yeah. That's great. I'm debating on whether or not to use, I've got some one and a half inch bronze or I've got two inch. I think we're gonna go two inch because that's just gonna grab in there pretty good. And I know how much epoxy I put in there, so we're not gonna get too deep. That's set up pretty good. That's almost exactly right. Now the trick is, where is that, is that hole? So it's right there and right there. Be just perfect. Let's see if we hit the hole. Yep, right in it. Okay, and I'm gonna drill all these before I do this because I want to still be able to see where that hole is down where they go. So this one is right there, 
right there. I can see that epoxy coming out of there, so I know that's that's good. Countersink that a bit. Nice. So it's right there and right there. Awesome. See, we got the center board in. We've got a bunch of varnish on that. Just got to get the tiller together and we're good. I want to drill a hole through this pentel uh, because I want to be able to put a little uh, a little ring, a lock ring on the bottom of that so that it can't pop back up out of the gudgeon. So I'm going to try to try to get a little, I need a punch, but I don't have one. I'm going to try to use this screwdriver and see if I can get this started. Might be enough. Take the drill and see if we can get in there. How about that? Now, I don't know if it's big enough. Where's my rigging kit? So see my idea is I want to be able to put, I want to be able to put a ring down through that. Yeah, that's gonna work. Ooh, that's warm. Just like that. Just like that. That way, it won't come loose out of the pedal or the gudgeon. Let's go look at that and make sure I didn't drill the hole in the wrong place. That'll be the bottom one. This is the top one. Well, that dude's still warm. It's perfect. So that'll just fit in there. See, now that it can't come out of there. That's awesome. Okay, so this is, this is this piece that was originally on here, fit on there. And I saved these two little screws out of there. And it looks like that's going to fit right in there. So that's the size I need, but I'm going to need two more. We'll have to look around and see if we got anything. So the next thing then is going to be to drill holes in here for this to mount on there, about like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one's in there.
Dang, that's gonna be big enough too. That's somewhat frightening. I had this little box of screws, little machine screws, number 10 by one inch. Look at that. They're exactly right. I don't even have to use this old corroded one. I can just put all new ones in there. Kind of tight, but I guess I'm glad. It's coming through. Now I just got to put the other one on and we'll be all good. Good. That's going to be great. All right, so I got these all bolted on here. We're still just going to have these holes in here. I don't care. It's fine. Not going to hurt anything. And there we are. And that's not flopping around. I mean, it wiggles a little bit, but that's normal. We're going to have good depth down below the water line. And then we'll put our little, uh, our little pin in here so that, it doesn't, so that it can't lift out. Because this is wood and it's going to want to float, so we don't want, we don't want that to happen. We're just about ready. We are just about ready to go. Got the thwart in. Belaying pin for a cleat. Center board or dagger board. Transom boards. Tiller. Rudders hung. come out pretty good next thing we got to do is get the rigging together we'll get the sail out and see if we can set it up let's make sure that it's good I got a little bit of line ordered for a new halyard and a, and a main sheet that's gonna be awesome if you like the video remember to like and subscribe we'll see you next time